Problems number 9 and 10 on the practice test, chapter 4. Alright, these are solving. We're just solving for X. Okay? So sometimes I need to put them together before I can take it apart. Um, uh, if I can get the, the X on one side with the lo one logarithm, then I can actually do exponential uh, change. I can change it from logarithmic form to exponential form. Okay? So, can I get these together? Subtraction means... Division, okay? So log of 4x cubed, right, divided by 8x squared is equal to 1, okay? And then I know that, that 4 goes into 8 twice, but it's in the bottom, right? But that this x squared can be cancel out two of them up here, so two from three is one, so it's just x over two is equal to one, right? What is the base of this log? Ten. ten. I have to remember that that base is ten, so if I want to change this to, to exponential form, then I can have ten to the one is equal to, so we remember we have the log of the base, Right? Of the number is equal to the exponent. And here we just have the exponent. The base raised to the exponent is equal to the number. So the base raised to the exponent is equal to the number x over 2. Okay? And so from there, I can solve it. 10, one, 10 to the 1 is 10. And then I multiply both by 2. And I get 20 is equal to x. Okay? Alright. This one, we've got addition. What do we do with addition? Okay, so I've got log of 4 times log of 8x. Right? Equals 1. So I get log of 32x equals 1, right? What's the base? 10. 10. So I've got 10 to the 1 power is equal to 32x. So I solve by dividing. So I get 10 over 32 is equal to x, or x is equal to 5 sixteenths. Easy.